Today I'm going to be doing my own personal review of my favorite tech gadget of the year so far, and that is the Wi-Fi light bulb camera. I've never actually seen anything like this product before. It's unique because it plugs into a light bulb socket. I've never come across that. So I decided to grab one of these and use it myself. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's got a ton of features. It's very easy to use. So let's get into the review. So when you pop open the box, obviously you're going to have the camera. This is an optional mount with the screws associated with the optional mount. And then you have your user manual. Now, what's really cool about this camera is that not only can you plug it into a regular light bulb socket, but they make an adapter, which I have right here, where you can actually just plug it right into a regular power strip. It bends so that you can position it how you want. So you don't necessarily have to replace a light bulb with it. And that's one of the features I really like in particular about it. This is a versatile product and it's much higher quality than you would expect at this particular price point, which is one of the things that impressed me when I came across it. So what we're gonna do just for the sake of the video is I'm going to take the camera, I'm gonna grab a power strip, I'm gonna plug it in on the wall over to my left, and that's where we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna start talking about the features, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on how to sync it to your phone, and then we're gonna have some fun with it. So when you power on the light bulb camera, you're gonna get a little chime melody, and then the camera itself is going to rotate and you'll see some of the lights come on as well all right looks good we have power although this is a review video I just wanted to mention in the least that in order to get this camera working with your mobile device you're going to have to download the app that you find in the manual and once you follow all of those directions and you get it paired up then you can move on to the next section just open up your manual and follow all of the directions as you see them and you'll be able to pair the wi-fi camera to any of your mobile devices whether it's ios or android now in the next section of the review, I just want to show you guys what it actually looks like when you're using that application. Instead of me just verbally explaining it to you, I figured it would be better that I show it to you so you know what to expect and you get to see why this camera is actually a lot of fun to use. So this is the view from the application itself if you just want to see what's going on on the camera. As you can see, I'm passing by. There's a little bit of latency but it's really not anything serious. Now I'm gonna pop this up, this menu. And as you can see, we got a lot going on here. So if you want to change the orientation of the camera itself, you can go like that. There's a back button, obviously. You can take a screenshot. The middle button I'm not gonna use right now because you're not really going to be able to hear it the way it's supposed to be heard. It's actually just gonna end up echoing, but this is actually the voice call. So if someone's standing near the camera, you can communicate with them. But because I'm near it with my mobile device, there's gonna be feedback. So we're gonna avoid that so I don't blow your ears out. If you wanna take a video clip, you're just gonna tap that button right there. And to stop recording, just tap it again. You can hit view albums. You'll be able to see all previous clips and photos that you've taken collectively. If you have the SD card inserted into the Wi-Fi camera, you can get everything saved to that SD card and the appropriate folder will show when you go to look at all of the things that are in your gallery. Playback and gallery are associated with what I was just explaining to you, but you can access them quickly right down here. And you can also change the theme color of the application itself. I like dark mode. You can change it to light mode if you like that. Night mode is really cool. So I'm gonna shut the lights off here in the kitchen and it's gonna automatically switch to night mode or infrared mode. 
This is using infrared sensors that are built into the camera to see in the dark. It's night vision and it works really well. It's actually pretty clear. And there's me in the shot again. Obviously, I'm a little funky looking right now because there's a little bit of extra light that's coming in. So what I'm gonna do is shut that light off so you guys can really see. Now it's real dark in here. Not much light is getting into this room at all. And this can see very, very clearly in the dark. Motion tracking is pretty self-explanatory, but it is a really powerful tool. If you just walk in front of the camera, walk past it, it's going to do its best job to follow you. Even if you take sudden steps, change directions, it does a really good job of keeping track of you. Motion detection and sound detection are fairly straightforward. You will get a notification on your phone if either of those things are detected by the Wi-Fi camera. The siren is the alarm that you can trigger in an emergency. So if you tap the button, it's gonna make this sound. So you could, you know, maybe ward off somebody who's trying to break into your house so that they know that you see them or you can try to get somebody's attention with it. You can turn the light on and off, those LEDs. You can actually put a timer on it as well. And then edit really isn't anything that you can use unless you have other devices to hook up to the app to create an ecosystem. And that's pretty much all of the main features of the camera itself through the application. So just a quick overview of everything. The setup was easy, simple, fast. You can use it on Android. You can use it on iOS. You download the app. You follow the directions that come in the manual and you're ready to go. It's really just that simple. Now, when you do it, there's going to be a barcode that pops up on your screen. And all you got to do is point it right at the camera. Boom. There it is. You're done. And then you can start tinkering with it. It comes packed with features, night vision, LEDs to actually replace a light bulb. It has motion detection. It has an alarm. It has two-way audio communication. I don't know what more you could actually need in a package like this, but if you want to know if I recommend this camera, the answer is a resounding yes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.